What's going on guys, Etika from the Etika World Network here and today we are going to be covering some tool assist videos. Now I've done some of these in the past and one of them was uh, Captain Falcon with Jigglypuff's aerial mobility in Melee and I know I, I have a Smash 4 intro and this video is going to be focused on uh, Melee stuff but I mean eh, whatever it's still Smash at the end of the day. Um, I think these are all from the same person. Now these these reddit threads, I have two threads here, we're going to cover two of these today and um, you'll be able to see more of them from the person's channel because they have a ton more. Uh, you know, I wouldn't be enough time to cover every single one of them in a video, but the point is to just get the highlight on this because this is pretty funny. And I saw a little bit of one of these clips as well too. So we have two threads. Um, one is by UZK and the other one is by Pokemon Special. Big shout outs to these guys for posting these threads. Um, they don't have as many thumbs up or as many upvotes. I learned that from you dudes, thank you. Um, they don't have as many upvotes as some other threads that have been posted in the same amount of time, but um, I still thought these would be funny to cover, so let's go what through these uh, in detail. Now, as you can see, it says, what if Zelda was faster than Sheik? And this is in Melee, so obviously this person is modifying the game to be able to make these values change. So let's see exactly what the situation would be if Zelda was faster than Sheik in this game. Everything else remains the same, but just Zelda faster than Sheik. So a link to this will be in the description, so um, definitely go there to check this out. Let's see what this video is all about, man. 55 seconds. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. Okay, Zolda. Oh shit. Let's go. Yo. Savage. The tech chase. Oh shit, man. Yo, this is so real. Yo, Zelda. What's good? Holy shit. Yo. I'm so surprised by this. Like, it looks like this is what she should have really been doing. There we go. And she has the aerial mobility too. She just... She just fucking... What? Woo! Oh, shit. Yo, Zelda. Zelda. Damn. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, that was fucking savage. Yo, I'm sorry, man. They need to make... I guess any character, any character in the game would be monstrous with that speed on them. But this just really goes to show you, isn't Zelda considered one of the worst characters in Melee? I know that's the case, so the fact that she looks so deadly here... I mean, I, uh, granted, she's playing against a CPU opponent, so obviously we aren't seeing this in the full spectrum of what it could be potentially in like a competitive environment, but the fact that she's able to follow up so effectively, I I'm sure any character would be able to follow up in crazy ways like this, but all they had to do was add some more speed to Zelda, and suddenly she becomes a fucking powerhouse. This is kind of insightful because this means that in the game of Smash Brothers, like Zero said in some of his videos before, most of the top tier characters, if not all of them, are extremely fast in one way or another. And you look at a Pikachu in Smash 4 at least. You know, you look at Pikachu, you look at Sonic, um, and you look at other characters, Sheik, um, Diddy Kong, they can all get from point A to B extremely quickly, and that's part of what makes them deadly. And you know, the moveset is one thing, but maybe it really does come down to just how fast a character can move around that stage and position themselves correctly. This kind of shows me that, because Zelda's considered to be one of the worst characters in Melee, but here she looks so fucking deadly, able to follow up off of her moves so effectively. It's insane. Tech chases are one thing, but the follow-ups, look at that, she wouldn't be able to follow up that insane way if she didn't have that speed of Sheik right there. Impressive, yo. Absolutely impressive. Damn. Damn, yo. Even doing the moonwalking? That fucking spike, yo. That wasn't even considered a spike, but I mean, god damn, nigga, that... <laughs> oh, shit. Nigga, she... Fox cleaned them shoes, my boy. But, yo. Alright, so this does make me wonder, like, what other characters would be like if they had more speed to them? If this person can continue doing these mods, that would be amazing. Do they have anything else on their channel? In terms of, like, the speed modifications? No, um, well, they have some Smash stuff. It doesn't seem like they have... Well, they have some tool assisted stuff, but, um... 
this seems like the only one that kind of highlights a scenario that would be different from standard. Like, what if Zelda was faster than Sheik? Um, nothing else like that seems to be there for now. But, I mean, still, I'll definitely be keeping my eye on this guy. Um, if you can do any more projects like that, that would be amazing. Like, give characters who don't have that speed the speed that they need to be able to be viable. Holy shit. Really impressive, man. But, okay, so let's go to the other tool assisted video as well, too. This one says, what if Fox's laser sucked? Now, this one has a lot more thumbs up, and it was submitted a day ago. Well, upvotes. And at first, I was looking at it and said, wait, wait what, do you, what do you mean if his laser sucked? Like, you mean, like, if they were bad? But, you know, Fox's lasers, they're already really good in Smash Melee. I mean, did, but how, how do you make them bad in a way? And then I watched the video. I watched a little bit of it, and I saw what he actually meant. And he meant, what if Fox's lasers sucked in, not sucked in general? Let's see exactly what happens. So every time his laser hits him, he brings the opponent in. Fucking Christ Almighty. So not only does it make them flinch in this mod, but it brings them closer to you. Nigga! And all he did to make it do that was reverse the values of making it knock you away and just making it come to you instead. Fuck. Oh, that's fucking... Yeah! <laughs> fucking Christ. Thank God this isn't a thing. I kinda got a bad taste in my mouth after watching this shit. Holy shit, though. And it comes out so fast, too. It comes out so goddamn fast. Hey. Bro, he's bringing his ass in off stage. Holy shit. Really now. Yo, man, this is fucking vicious. <laughs> fucking vicious, man. But um, apparently this guy, Magic of S Magic Scrumpy, he's done a lot of these videos in the past before, and like I said, I covered some of these. So I mean, this is definitely somebody to keep up with. I'm definitely gonna subscribe to this dude because he's been doing this kind of stuff actively, and I'm glad to see that he's still presenting new scenarios in the building. It's always interesting to see if the mechanics were kind of changed, the technical things were kind of altered a little bit, and the previous video was Zelda with more speed. That was mind blowing for me. I would love to see more similar situations, but situations like this as well too like for example he has one here that says what if fox had falco's down air or um what if fox's lasers were falcon punches this one looks fucking ridiculous nigga oh fuck that yeah i'm glad i subscribed to this guy because scenarios like this are things that we won't be able to see on a normal basis but we are able to see them here in this situation i, I love it i love it definitely keep it up dude big fucking props to magic scrumpy um let me see how many subscribers does this guy have Yes, 15,000. That needs to be a whole lot more, bro. Good shit on your channel, man. Um, but yeah, guys, let me know what you think about these two clips. What if Zelda was faster than Sheik? And also, what if Fox's lasers sucked you in? Which one do you think is the more savage of the two? I gotta go with Zelda on my own regard because she was monstrous with that speed. Like, she looked like a totally different character, in my opinion. And all you had to do was just increase her movement a little bit. And next thing you know, this chick was looking like she was top tier. Let me know what you think of the comments, guys, and I'll talk to you dudes in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.